So there's a buzz around these buff box meals at the moment. What this video series aims to do is just to walk you through what it's like to actually use the meal delivery service. So subscribe below just so you can get regular updates and subscribe to 30 days of buff box meals. So just taking a delivery today, we've just got the, uh, what I think is the buff box meals. So we're going to open this up and see actually what's inside. So the UPS guy has just kind of arrived. We're going to get inside and have a look. Ooh, it's nice and cool. So this is how it comes, comes packaged, a little bit of bubble wrap. Uh, I guess then we've got some breakfasts here. I think a few lids have kind of come off, that's okay. But you can see, if I grab the camera, tasty. You see what we're getting? This is uh, the Buff Box meals for the week. And this should be all that I'm eating. Interesting. Okay, so I've just been for a three kilometer run and I decided that I was going to do it in my vibe rooms, okay? So this is something that I've done previously uh, in a 30 day blog, I think back in 2012. Uh, what I'll do is I'll link it just below, uh, so if you're feeling like you want to check that out, go ahead. Okay, now so we're moving on to my next project, which is the 30 days of buff box meals. Um, already today I've had the... Uh, the oats, which I'll talk about uh, later. We'll do a breakfast post uh, tomorrow. I've had the kedgeree, which is uh, a smoked haddock. And now I'm going on to the sweet and sour pork. So, I've already had a little uh, open just to scout it out and uh, have a little taste. And it's actually really tasty. So what's in this is supposed to be uh, some pork, supposed to be some brown rice. Uh, also, you've got some eggs and some cashew nuts. It's got a sweet and sour um, sauce on it. But what it's also got in, it's got some uh, some peppers, it's got some tomatoes, it's got some onions in there. It's even got some courgette in there as well. And actually it's very, very tasty. Now, the only kind of extra thought I've got at this stage is that about two or three hours ago, I kind of thought that maybe there's not enough of these little containers for a full day's meal. However, I've been proved drastically wrong because we're now at five past eight and I've still got this and two other meals to eat. Now, I'm no stranger to food, so I'll certainly oblige and polish them off. But I can see that anyone kind of worrying about whether this is gonna be enough food for them, um, you, there's no need to worry. I think there's plenty uh, to, to last you through the day. And of course, if you're kind of, I think, pairing this with a protein shake as well, uh, and the odd cup of tea, cup of coffee, you're gonna be more than satisfied. So that's my uh, early thoughts on day one. We're gonna catch up with the rest of the meals as we go. They're all pretty, pretty same, same. You kind of have that regularity in your, in your meals. But yeah, we'll catch up at bedtime. And some fun stuff, there's some smoked mackerel for before uh, bedtime. So that'll be fun. It's supper time, it's the last meal of the day, uh, eating the buff box meals. I've just finished watching 24 hour a and &E. I've got myself a, a cup of tea ready to go. And I'm just gonna give you guys a little insight into what's actually in each container. A lot of people have been asking on Facebook since I posted up a little photo of the fridge and uh, announcing this is what I'm doing, so I'm going to show you. So we're going to have a little look in a second. And what we've got, if you have a little look, is some smoked fish. We've got some sweet potato and some sugar snap peas, which is very tasty. And we've got some lemon as well to go in there. So as you can see, it's all very, very simple. There's only three ingredients. However, there's a, a lot of seasoning, some chives in there, so it's very, very tasty. And um, so far, this is the first day of the challenge. It's exceptionally good. I do feel like I'm, I'm actually um, eating very, very well. So psychologically, I feel quite motivated 
and to carry on doing this and I'm hoping it's going to influence my, my training. At the weekend I'm doing the Stand Alone series which is NWK CrossFit's little kind of in-house comp if you will with a few people coming in from the outside and um, yeah I'm going to take some of these down there and see what effect actually having all these meals in, in that day actually has on my performance so I'll feedback uh, to you guys uh, for those of you that are actually uh, interested in finding that out so that's all I'll say for now it's uh, nearly bedtime so early day at work tomorrow I'm gonna scoff this down and I'll speak to you later